Hi, I am Dr. Romanov. Today's topic bending at the waist in running and how to correct this mistake in your training. Uh, as you know, pose method based on three major elements pose, fall, and pull. And bending at the waist related with falling or how you execute this element. In pose, we are falling with the body aligned on the vertical line. It's like that from this basic position, vertical position. And then we are moving as a stick to this position where the falling happens in this angle. Bending at the waist is a very simple element when you instead falling as a um, rigid stick or rod, you are bending while you're falling, you are not falling straight. You are bending in its so-called uh, K position. And this is what um, doesn't allow you, you're falling to be executed in an efficient way. It, it calls for you then extending leg this way here and land ahead of the body and it's overloading for your uh, low back and so on. There are many mistakes coming from this element. In order to correct this error, uh, I would recommend use very simple exercise which we are using in pose method. It's a hips exercise and jumping exercise. Hips exercise are, are shown in the book in the many ways, in many of them, and you can pick up from them. But just simple thing, it's a push-up position here. Uh, you're doing hips up and down with support on two arms or one arm. It will increase strength of your muscles in hip area and allows you to keep your body aligned. Another one is a, a hopping exercise in the major um, position uh, with uh, <coughs> arms uh, on, uh, on your hips or your arms up with the bar additionally to increase uh, uh, vertical alignment and it hops in the place it gives you the same kind of effect. So combination of hips and jumping exercise will allow you align your body to the vertical line and increase your efficiency in falling without bending at waist in your running. Thank you. This is our topic for today.